Okay, so this is called Soham Dhyana. Soham is a short form for Shivoham. Okay, I am Shiva. When I say I am Shiva, Shiva is the infinite intelligence. Okay. Right now, what you know I am is a finite intelligence, small intelligence. You are a small reflection of that infinite intelligence. Now you are remembering that I am of the nature of infinite intelligence. Okay. So how can I become that infinite intelligence? So when your nervous system becomes silent, that silence of the nervous system is called Sharanagati or surrender. The silence of the nervous system is called meditation. Then that infinite intelligence penetrates and operates through the nervous system. That's why you can say, I am Shiva. Even without that, you are Shiva. Because, but only part of the Shiva's energy is reflected through your nervous system. Unless you make your self recipient to receive the energy, the full energy or full wisdom of Shiva will not operate through the body-mind complex. The process for that is called meditation. Okay, so the meditation is called Soham or Shivoham meditation. Just make a breathe in, breathe in, and uh, you see, make a sound here at the throat. The sound is so. When you breathe out, hum sound will come. Right? Natural sound. Okay? Yeah, open your eyes. So, when you breathe in, there is a so. When you breathe out, hum. So, hum. There is naturally a breath is chanting a mantra called so hum. Shivo hum. I am Shiva. I am one with Shiva. So, that is a reminder for you. Because mind keeps on wandering, drifting. Okay? What's happened to my son who is sitting in somewhere? What will happen to marriage? Okay, what will happen to after marriage? How many grandchildren will I have? So all thoughts process will come. Okay. So <laughs> the purpose of meditation is not all thought processes. Right? Grandchildren to produce, they know how to produce grandchildren. <laughs> the question you'll have to ask is before marriage or after marriage only you have to ask. <laughs> okay. So the meditation, purpose of meditation is to focus and remind your true nature, Shiva. Okay, the gap between you and Shiva is your nervous system is noisy, not silent. That's all it is. <laughs> so you have to remind. The breath can be used as a reminder. Guruji, when you say you take a deep breath and the sound will come, do you have to make that sound or? It is natural, <laughs> no? It's a little bit if your throat constriction is there. But you have to do it. No, no, initially. I'm just telling you, the breath creates a soham sound naturally. Okay. After that, you don't do, do it. But I'm saying the breath, the focusing on the breath is focusing also a reminder for you, shivoham. Because otherwise, mind will keep drifting. Oh, shivoham. What will happen to my son? What will happen to my daughter-in-law? What happened to my all <laughs> thought chain will come? So uh, break all the thought chain and again focus on shivoham. <laughs> It is more important that you become Shiva than uh, produce some grandchildren. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So that's why the breath is used as a mechanism for reminder. Okay. That's important. Then what will happen is how, the process of meditation, I'll tell you. How do you meditate? First, couple of times, breath, you do a Deep breath with the soham sound. Like that, you have to do a couple of times deep breath. Okay, then I, when I, let's say, do it 10 times. Slow, deep breath with the soham sound, reminding that soham means shivoham. The deep abdominal breath, very slow with soham sound. 10 to 20 times you can do. Okay. 
once you do that your mind becomes deeply silent okay then switch over to natural breath stop forceful breath observe the natural breath in and out okay so breath goes in stomach gets expanded there's a momentary stop the breath goes out there's a stopping of the breath like a pendulum swings in and out breath in and out at each extreme out it stops for a minute a second in it stops for a second so you should observe this movement and when it pauses there at out the breath pauses for a moment so at that moment focus on that observe that as you observe that that moment of pausing will increase you got what i'm saying the breath pauses there's a pause so become aware of that pause as you become aware of the pause that pause becomes larger and larger as you become aware of the breath in and out the breath starts slowing down okay okay now what happens to your nervous system i'll tell you our nervous system has three energy channels called ida pingala and sushumna ida means moon pingala means sun sushumna means brahman or shiva ida pingala and sushumna in mythological terms these are also called ganga yamuna saraswati ganga is ida yamuna is pingala saraswati is sushumna they were also rivers originating in kashmir okay ganga yamuna saraswati out of that saraswati river had a civilization called very evolved civilization of spiritually evolved people they were called saraswats saraswati river dried up along with that spiritual knowledge also dried up okay my ancestors called saraswati rishi revived the spiritual knowledge in that river bed so in his honor i teach this meditation so what has what happens to you is throughout the day nervous system is responsible for fight or flight judgment then the energy will be flowing in ida and pingala nothing goes in sushumna sushumna is dried up like river saraswati is dried up there is no energy flow within sushumna okay so when your nervous system calms down the energy flows in sushumna this energy bubbles up in sushumna in spinal cord it bubbles up and it reaches the adna chakra the forehead region the sahasrara top of the region which are centers of higher higher consciousness you got what i'm saying day to day operation it will be flowing in ida and pingala but when you start meditating the energy starts flowing in sushumna that is called kundalini and it will happen it's a na- very natural process okay so when does the energy enter into sushumna when the pause is there right between two breath the pause is there between breath in and breath out there is a momentary pause during that period energy enters starts entering into bubbling bubbles into sushumna so it starts reaching sas adna and it starts reaching sasrara so continue this process so that pause will become slightly larger and larger gradually don't force it if you want little bit stay there for some time so the pause will become larger and larger the energy will bubble in sushumna into the adna chakra in sasrara so in that process it will open up higher centers in your nervous system which will help you to reflect higher degree of shiva consciousness in your life is the process of meditation clear and you stay in that for as long as you can half an hour one hour you continue this process okay and if mind is invaded by thoughts your breath you are observing remind yourself soham shivoham soham my son my daughter in law my child come back to soham marriage <laughs> soham <laughs> my past soham my future soham come back to soham guruji 
what is the date for son's marriage so you understand so come back to the focus of meditation which is soham nothing else is focus of meditation clear if the thoughts keep coming and then you come back you come back the time when you have come back that doesn't go waste no right marriage can wait <laughs> are you clear any the process again i would outline the step first initially 10 to 20 times 20 times you do soham a forceful slow natural breath it is soham sound mind becomes calm then switch over to natural breath observe the breath in and out become aware of how stomach expands become aware of the pause between the breath at the outside stay little bit longer on that pause gap as you stay in the pause the energy starts bubbling in the nervous system to the atma chakra your eyes should your hand should be in the meditative posture your eyes should be slightly looking upwards as if you are looking through your adna chakra without straining to a distant place right in the horizon eyes should be slightly upwards as if you are looking through adna chakra to a distant place your neck should be slightly bent backwards so that you feel a slight pull here at the adna chakra the center of the forehead that should be your posture not too much back bent backwards not too much forward it will be you you just gently move your neck if i feel a point where it starts feeling is gentle pull in the forehead are we ready hands and hold like this like this or like this which one is okay